Hey YouTube, this Premiere Pro course has some exercise files. There's a link here. You can go and check them out. They are free to go and download. Uh, also note that there is a playlist in the bottom here in the description that will link you to the rest of the videos in this free playlist. All right, it is time to go learn some Premiere Pro. Hi there, in this tutorial we're going to create a project, import some video, add it to a timeline, and you'll be able to see me, lots of me, awkward face me, okay, uh, you lucky lucky people, let's go and create our project now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is open up Premiere Pro and then go to say new project or you can go up to file new project. Uh, this window opens up, we're gonna give our project a name. We're gonna say we're working for a client called Bring Your Own Laptop and we're doing their introduction to InDesign video. Yours might be, I don't know, facilities management introduction or some sort of human resources video or I don't know, something you're doing for your company. Um, the other thing we need to do is where it says location, click browse, we need to keep our file somewhere. I'm gonna put mine on my desktop and I'm gonna make a new folder here called Premiere Pro class, okay? So we always call it Premiere Pro through this course. Sometimes I f uh, accidentally call it just Premiere, but it's Premiere Pro. There's actually a kind of like an entry version of Premiere that you can use. I don't like it, but um, so we're using Premiere Pro through this class. So I'm gonna put all my files in this folder. Okay, let's click choose. And don't worry about anything else here. Let's click okay. And Premiere Pro opens. Now, what we first need to do is to make sure everyone's looking the same. You can see this is kind of how I've set mine up from the last project. It probably looks different from yours. So what we're gonna do is go up to Window, go to Workspaces, click on Editing, and if it's already on Editing, click to Reset to Save Layout. Can you see it just kind of rejigs everything so that yours looks like mine, and later on in the course, if you accidentally kind of move that there, and this goes and everything's kind of disappeared, you can go back up to Window, workspaces and go to reset save layout and whew, it all comes back to normal. All right, so next thing we need to do is import some video. So let's go to file, let's go to import. Um, if you haven't already, download the exercise files. There's a link on the page here somewhere. So go to desktop, open up our exercise files and in here I wanna bring in talking head one, two and three. We can do it all together by clicking the first one holding down shift and clicking the last one. If you can't do that, just click on each individually and bring in one, then go back to file import and bring in two and three. Okay, I'm doing all of mine in one big go and you should end up with something like this. Now yours is gonna look a little different. Yours is gonna look, can you see down here is an icon view. Icon view is kind of useful. I don't like it though because all of my footage ends up looking the same, so it's not very useful. And as soon as you get quite a bit of footage in here, it becomes just a bit unwieldy. So I'm gonna switch it to this one called List View. It's up to you for which you prefer, but I don't know. Try List View for a little while, see what you like, and then maybe switch back to Icon View if you prefer. Okay, so we're at a pretty important part now. So when I'm teaching, this can be the most confusing part for people getting started. Okay, so we've created a project, we've imported some videos, but you'll see it's kind of dead now. There's nothing really going on. So a project is an empty vessel, okay? It's like a book with no pages. It's a bit strange. Okay, so every project needs at least one sequence. Okay, so let's go and create a sequence. So let's go to File, New, Sequence. And think of sequences as pages in your book. You get to pick the size. This can be a bit daunting in here. You're like, wow, there are so many options. The cool thing about it is that HDV, and this one here, it says HDV 1080p 25 is the one you're gonna use 99% of the time. Okay, this one, you won't get into any problems using this one here. Okay, and you click create and you've now got a sequence and things kind of come to life. You can see it over here. Here's my sequence. There's nothing, my timelines come to life, but there's nothing in it. Okay, and this big black box over here showing me the video and there's nothing in it, so it's black. But that often isn't the way people get started. So we're gonna undo that by going to edit, undo. I wanna show you that to give you an understanding of what a sequence is. What we're gonna do, instead of creating a sequence from scratch by going to file new, and then trying to guess from this like drop down what size it should be, what we're gonna do is we've got some video here already. It exists, it's a size already, it's a frame rate already. You can see there it's 1080 high, Okay, that's where they get that 1080p from. It's the height in pixels. And you can see it's 25 frames per second. That's just what my camera shoots at. Yours might be at 30 or 29.9. 
whatever your frame rate is, it doesn't really matter, okay, or the size, what you can do is you can right click and say, I wanna make a sequence from this video clip. Then you know your sequence, instead of guessing from the top there, it's gonna be exactly the same as your video. So let's do that, let's go new sequence from clip, I've right clicked it, okay, and it springs to life, we get a very similar part as we did before, except now I know that my sequence is exactly right, it's perfect. The one thing that can be confusing though, is you can see here, these little icons are quite important. That is a sequence icon, okay, and these are just videos. Okay, so this sequence here um, has the same name as my video, which makes life a little bit uh, confusing when you're new, it makes it confusing when you're a pro as well. So let's just call this one sequence at the beginning, just, you don't have to do this, Okay, but it's just really easy to then go, when you're looking at files later on, this one's our sequence, and this is going to be our InDesign intro. And weird thing about the sequence is that when I export my MP4 at the end of this course, okay, that's where the name's gonna come, not from the project. Remember we called it BYOL Introduction InDesign. It's actually gonna come from the sequence name. Okay, so before we move on and start doing our editing, let's look at what all these different panels do. You can see here, this is all the files that we have imported. Over here is my timeline. Let's have a quick look at that. We can hit the space bar on our keyboard. So just hit the big space bar. You can see that's me. My name is Dan. Hello, Dan. you. Okay, space bar again to stop, space bar to start, space bar to stop. You can drag this thing here called the CTI, or the current time indicator, or I refer to it as a playhead, makes more sense. You can click, hold, and drag it to the beginning here. Hit space bar again, it'll start, drag it back, space bar starts. So that's your timeline. Okay, so I'm gonna drag it all the way back here. Now you've got two big windows at the top here. This is called your program window, and this is called your source window. Lame names, I know, there's nothing in this preview window. Why? Because watch down here, if I want to say, before I add uh, talking head three to my timeline, I want to check it. Okay, I want to see what's in it. So I can double click it down here. You can see it opens up in my preview window. I can hit play. Okay, and... Okay, so this thing here does nothing. It's just like a preview. Now what I can do, if I click hold and drag it over here, I can drag it to this timeline. Okay, now it's part of my program window, so eventually if I grab the timeline watch, it stops and then the next video starts across there. Okay, so now that'll export. It's a bit ugly, but it will export. I'm gonna click on head three and hit delete on my keyboard just to get rid of it. Bring our playhead back to the beginning. And I think it's time to do some editing. So this is your import window, this is your timeline, this is what's gonna be exported, and that is just a little preview window. All right guys, let's get on to doing some editing. Hey, if you enjoyed my video, please like. Also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Note that that is a free extract from my larger Premiere Pro course that you can check out on bringyourownlaptop.com. Uh, it's really inexpensive, and as part of Premiere Pro, you also get After Effects, motion graphics, animated infographics, data visualization, uh, lots of video stuff, plus lots of web and graphic design products as well. Uh, so check that out. It's all at bringyourownlaptop.com. Bye now.